Liturgy of Longing by Reverend Sandra Maria Van Opstel. Injustice anywhere is a threat to justice everywhere. We are caught in an inescapable network of mutuality, tied in a single garment of destiny. Whatever affects one directly affects all indirectly. For some strange reason, I can never be what I ought to be until you are what you ought to be. This is the way God's universe is made. This is the way it is structured. Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. How long, Lord? How long must we cry out? How long must the vulnerable sit silent as bombs? Guns, cages, natural disasters threaten lives. How long must we hear the agonising silence of so many in the church? How long, Lord? Are you listening? Yes, you do. You do? You do see us. You do hear us. We believe you're at work bringing peace, true peace, flourishing, wholeness and well-being. We hear your words of truth and know in our minds that you are Lord, the God of gods and Lord of lords, the great God, mighty and awesome. You show no partiality. You defend the cause of the fatherless, motherless and the widow. You love the stranger. We believe and we feel overwhelmed. Sometimes it is hard to believe that you actually care about the injustice and suffering. When we don't see your work, when we sense the apathy from the church, when we feel small and forget that we were designed to be different and make things different. When we feel overwhelmed by darkness in the world, the violence, injustice, poverty, oppression, abuse. Give us hope not to be overcome. Give us eyes to see your goodness for our world. Give us the strength to hold the pain of injustice in our world and faith that it will end. Give us courage to be honest with ourselves about why and how we are doing justice. We believe, so empower us to disrupt our broken thinking by learning truth from diverse leaders. Enable us to discover the beauty of justice and inspire action in others. Embolden us to display your goodness in the world. Sisters and brothers, let us walk in solidarity and mutuality. Not ignoring distinctives, but embracing them. Not loving beyond our differences, but loving because of our differences. Recognising that differences can form and transform us. Inviting each of our narratives to contribute to what can be. Sisters and brothers, let us act in creativity to rebuild a just world where those fleeing danger can find rest, where children are not discarded because they do not look like us, where mothers and fathers are not standing over the graves of their sons and daughters, where violence does not define us and death does not have the last word. Jesus, we repent and return to you. As you call us in Amos 4 to 5, we hear your call. Return to me, return to me and seek me. Return to me, seek me and do justice. Jesus, we repent, confessing our complicity in evil systems, our apathy towards pain, our pure enjoyment of things that satisfy us, our inability to forgive just as Christ has forgiven us. Thank you for being born as a refugee into a tiny ethnic minority oppressed and persecuted by, to death by the empire, and yet never fighting back in the form of empire, but embodying self-sacrificing resistance. Jesus, you came to proclaim good news to the poor by pro proclaiming freedom for the prisoners and recovery of sight for the blind. You came not only proclaiming freedom, but freeing the oppressed. We know that we can be agents of justice, but only you can liberate. We pray, we engage, we do our work, but only you bring salvation. You bring healing. You bring liberation. Only your power can stand against the darkness. Call us, repairer of broken walls and restorer of streets with dwellings. Help us to live justly, to love mercy, and to walk humbly with you, God. Empower us to let justice roll on like a river, Righteousness like a never-failing stream. 
What does the Lord require of you but to do justice, love mercy and to walk humbly with God? Micah 6 verse 8. Oh uh-huh. 